right, let's show them. Ready? I want to kiss. I want to kiss. Good job. Good job. Good job. Hello, I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner Elusive, Ellie for short. Today we're going to teach you how to teach a rabbit to give you kisses. Give me a kiss. Good job. Good job. Now to start off, what you're going to want is some high value treats. So treats that your rabbit is going to absolutely love and will go for no matter what. <laughs> so in this case, I have some little banana chips for her. <laughs> She's really excited about. Um, and I have some strawberry pieces. Now you do want to make sure that they are small bite-sized pieces. Yes, I know. I know. You want to give me a high five? There you go, now you get a treat. So you do want to make sure that they are small bite-sized pieces so that you don't end up giving them too many. Because remember, you want to keep your treats to about one tablespoon a day depending on the size of your rabbit. So definitely don't want to give them too many. Um, so for some rabbits, you can actually use their pellets, uh, just their daily dry food, because for, for some rabbits, they'll love that just as much as they'll love treats. Uh, but it really depends on the personality of your rabbit and how much, how much they go after um, their yummy, how much they go after their food and love their, love their food and stuff. Hi, Billy. How are you? Teaching a rabbit to give you kisses is actually a relatively easy trick to teach. Uh, I, I volunteer at an animal shelter um, to socialize the rabbits there, and this is a trick that they teach most rabbits that come through the system. <laughs> Um, at least my first goal with the rabbits is to make sure that they are friendly and willing to come up to people and then after that I'll start teaching them tricks and usually kisses is the first trick that I will teach them. <laughs> are you okay silly? <laughs> you're silly, you're silly. Are you impatient to start, are you impatient to start training? So to teach a rabbit how to give you kisses um, what you're going to want to do is a luring technique. So to first lure their head up kind of near your face and then um, kind of based on a clicker training technique making a kissy sound so that they understand when, understand what they're getting the treat for. The first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure your rabbit understands um, to put their head up. In some cases to put their head up and go up on their hind legs. That is just a simple luring technique. So let's see if Ellie will help us with this demonstration. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is lure your rabbit up like this <laughs> so that they understand that they, if they go up, they will get a treat. Um, and if your rabbit, I find a lot of times larger rabbits have a little bit more trouble understanding that. Um, Whereas smaller rabbits can usually get it right away because they're probably just used to <laughs> looking up for everything. Same with like short people like me. We're used to just <laughs> having to always look up at everything. So it's a <laughs> similar idea for rabbits, I think. Once the rabbit understands that they like need to look up and go up to be able to get the treat, then you want to start making sure you're, you can put your head down, put your head down in a place that they can get to and put put your hand with the treat in it, kind of right by where your mouth is, right by your cheek, and then lure them up to that point and then hide the treat. So you you lure your rabbit up, hide the treat, and put it in a fist uh, right by where your mouth is. And then you're gonna wait for your rabbit to... <laughs> We're gonna get through that soon. And then you're gonna wait for your rabbit to kind of search around. They'll probably search at your hand first and then they'll search around because they're gonna try to find the treat that they just lost because you hit it in your, in your fist. As soon as they search around your mouth area, you wanna make a kissy sound. So they'll be searching around and then you go and, and then right away give them the treat. And then they'll start to associate that sound with getting the treat, kind of like with clicker training. Um, so then, eventually, usually it actually doesn't take very long. Um, some rabbits will be able to get it in like five minutes. Some rabbits it'll take a couple of days, a, a couple different sessions. 
here. Oh dear. <laughs> Sometimes it'll take a couple different sessions, but um, but it's usually pretty quick to, for them to be able to understand. Go up, put put mouth in, put mouth here. Get hear kissy sound. You get treat. So let me demonstrate. You want to show a demonstration? Okay. So what you want to do? You want to lure them up, put it in a fist right by your mouth. Wait for your rabbit to search your mouth and give you a kiss. And then give them the treat. And then eventually, um, this, or with one hand or with both, I, I usually use both hands because I will hide it in whichever fist, but um, this becomes the cue for them to give you a kiss. So <laughs> even if you don't have a treat in your hand, going up like this tells them that you want them to give them that you want them to give you a kiss. I would say most rabbits it will take two to three sessions to, for them to really get it get it down and for for them to be able to understand right away without, without even having a treat. Uh, it usually takes two or three sessions, but I also do it. <laughs> I teach this trick a lot, so it'll probably be, um, it might take a few more sessions for you and that is okay. <laughs> Don't feel like you you need to get it the first time or else. Um, but your rabbit will get it eventually. With If you have a very small rabbit, you can, instead of just getting them to come up and give you a kiss, you can get them to hop onto your lap first and then give you a kiss from up on your lap. Um, that usually takes a little longer because it's an extra step that you're training them to do. You have to train them to come onto your lap and then after you train them to come onto your lap, you have to train them to come up and give you a kiss. Um, so. It will take a, a little bit longer in that case, but it's also a really cute thing to teach little bunnies to do. Want to show them again? Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Good job. Good job. You're so smart. You're so smart. <laughs> you. you do want to keep your training sessions to about five minutes or less. Uh, you don't want to kind of overstress your rabbit or frustrate them. And you don't want to give them too many treats. So keeping the session short um, will keep your rabbit happy and excited for the next session. And um, it'll keep their, their digestion doing okay. <laughs> so you don't, so you just won't give them too many treats because that's always a danger with rabbits. You want, you don't want to. You don't want to stress out their digestive system. Good girl, eat in your head. If you are the kind of person who learns better from reading instead of watching, um, I do have a blog post with this trick and a few more tricks um, kind of written out, the step-by-step, -step, that you can go check out if you want to. Um, it is on bunnylady.com slash rabbit tricks. I'll have a link for it down in the description. <laughs> And I will, um, if you are interested in more videos about rabbits and rabbit care and training rabbits and everything to do with rabbits and these cute little fluffy bunnies, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I come out with a new video every week and I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much. <laughs>